The Noonbar Hall was built to make a bold statement about the town and where it saw itself going. The foundation stone was laid on the 30th of August 1873 and the hall opened on the 25th of June 1874 a nine-month build which was less time than the recent renovation took. The labourers were all local men. The proposed cost was 3500 A further 1500 was needed for the embellishments and the local businesses were asked for £10 each. The specification for the Borough Hall was for a public hall and offices for the administration of the town. The final design was for an upper hall and ground floor offices. No one knows if this arrangement was a council decree or it followed the architect's advice. Direct public access to the main hall was by an entrance from Hanover Street, at that time considerably lower than the present day. Entrance to the offices or to meet councillors was from Argyll Street. This gave the hall a conventional layout. Sta- stage and imposing windows at one end, audience in the centre and entrance at the rear. Its popularity resulted in the need for expansion, so in 1896 a balcony reputedly to accommodate an additional 200 people was added. The 200 must have been poetic license, as there are now only 54 seats. The stage was also added at this time. The staircase to access the balcony blocked the lower level access to the building from Hanover Street, resulting in the auditorium now having the unusual layout of access being adjacent to the stage. The opening of the Borough Hall in 1874 was a central part of the noon access story for the tourist town. By 1885, were two banks and 21 insurance agencies, 10 hotels, a gas station company, two bowling greens and three weekly newspapers and various tourist attractions.